A week ago we went to Costco and bought a gaming PC just like this one for over $1,000, but somehow Walmart's selling it for $6.99. And how is that possible? Well, we're about to open it up and find out. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by SGW Zone and their upcoming gaming and AI portable eGPU. We have an early prototype to showcase this cool new product that comes with either an RX 6600M 80 watt or an RTX 3070 M 120 watt and provides super fast transfer speeds to boost gaming gaming performance on a wide range of devices that support Thunderbolt 3 and 4 and can even charge your device while you use it. We think this eGPU is awesome for handheld gaming consoles like the Aya Neo, which comes with eGPU support out of the box. You can take your supported device, dock it at your desk, and improve your gaming performance significantly. As somebody who loves the idea of portable setups, this is absolutely perfect to keep at home, bring your portable device back home, dock it on your setup, plug in your GPU with one cable, and from there you'll be to improve your gaming performance significantly when at home. They also are introducing Oculink support in the next version before launch, giving you PCI 4.0 by 4 support to maximize the GPU bandwidth to devices that support it, while also being available in an RTX 4060 variant. To learn more about this new and exciting portable GPU, check the link down below. And big thanks again to SGW Zone for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? Okay guys, I wasn't actually gonna buy this computer because we just reviewed a system from Costco for $1,000 with very similar specs. But when I thought about it, this computer is $300 cheaper and only has 16 gigs less RAM. I mean, it's absolute steel. We had to see exactly how it is so cheap. So this PC, very similar, except it's not the same brand. The other no. one was an iBuy Power. Or was it iBuy or did we get Cyber? We were looking at both. Cyber Power, he knows. So we got an iBuy. This is an MSI Codex, which we're kind of familiar with because we bought some of these pre-bolts before. And also you can often buy these as like combo bundles where it comes with like a power supply motherboard and a case. We did a lot of those for a while. And yeah, the reason I was hesitant on buying it is because I'm looking at it right now. And of course, it is not $6.99 anymore. Uh, it was a Cyber Monday like extended deal. It went way past Cyber Monday, like a whole week <laughs> past Cyber Monday. And it was still sitting there. So I was like, you know what? We definitely need to pick this up and actually see if this is a good deal for people. If you could find it again during the holiday season. Because right now it is back up to $999, which is probably what it should have been priced at to begin with to compete with that Costco computer. Yeah. Now the Costco one did have a two terabyte Gen 4 SSD. This one just says one terabyte in. VME. Could be Gen 3. Could be Gen 3. Yeah. It also only has 16 gigs of DDR5 rather than 32. We do get uh, MSI. Nice mice, honestly. Macros in the side and everything. We get a gaming keyboard. I'm probably not going to say the same thing about the keyboard because usually they're just really cheap. But it does come with Wi Fi. We got Wi Fi antennas. We got a power adapter. Presentation's pretty good in the uh, unboxing. Actually, not that It reminds bad. me of like a Red Dragon like budget bad. keyboard. Mine. It is actually might be the same. It looks it might be really the exact similar. same one, yeah. All right, so let's see if we can actually. Get this thing out of here in one piece. Very well packaged. Um, some of these like bigger pre -built companies do a very good job with like custom foam and everything that fits perfectly on the computer and Ooh, the bag. We love when they actually have like the sheath too rather than like that plastic. All right, stripper of her armor. Oh yeah. It kind of felt like a diaper. Oh, that's a yes. one right now. He's, he's leaking. He's like that mall Santa. <laughs> All right, what we have here is a pre-built <laughs> from MSI. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, this is getting unhinged. Oh. God, why do they always do? They turn the thumb screws into freaking machine gun Kelly screws. Like, why are they on so hard? <laughs> this ain't machine gun Kelly screws. <laughs> why am I using a flathead for this? It's what was convenient. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. I do wonder, I wonder what the Costco one costs now. You know what I mean? Like if that one went up too, because if that one's still a thousand, then obviously the Costco is a better deal, especially if this one's a thousand. Yeah, especially at the same price point. If they're both a thousand dollars still, then most definitely the Costco one had more upgradability, one would say. Why are these like so Dude, tight? In there. I don't want you taking this off, which is annoying because you have to take it off to get this protective uh, expanding foam that's in there. But I guess if that's all we have to complain about, I mean, it's good, that's a win for them. And it is the same codex case that's been around for years. Like we've had those combos that have been around for a long time. So the case isn't much different in this newer pre-built, but. Yeah, I know. think it's like one of their Forge cases. Like yeah, the, the Forge 110R or something like that. Crank it. Make sure to be working my thumb out today. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's see if everything showed up one piece. The one piece is real. I had to say it from McAllister. Not too shabby. Ah, oh, dual channel memory. Love to see it. Oh, the graphics card's so cute. It's just so tiny in here. So this right here is a 4060 Ventus 2X 8 gig. We do, I think that 
Is that a Gen 4 drive? Um, so this is one of the Spadium drives or okay. whatever, um, and it is Gen 3. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Gen so 3. We did get a Gen 3 drive. We also got just 16 gigs of RAM, which honestly, it's dual channel. It's plenty. Um, it looks like it's 5,200 megahertz. It is DDR5 uh, though, so. Yeah, yeah, this, this cooler is so interesting looking. It's so like small, the fan, the fan is really small, but the aluminum is definitely bigger than like a stock cooler. Motherboard, full size. Very so standard too. Yeah, what sort of board this is? Watch it not be in. I feel like a lot of times, no, it is MSI. It's a Pro Series. It looks like one we probably used many times. It I looks thought, like those normal just Pro Series Wi-Fi I think boards. it's a B760. Is it? I mean, that's what I think. I can't, I can't find it, but I swear I saw B760 somewhere on this, on the box or something. Yeah, I'm gonna guess B760, just we'll find purely out. based on the VRMs and stuff, but yeah, yeah. I'm gonna guess B760. Yeah, we'll definitely find out. Graphics card, four ports. I mean, that's pretty standard for most cards nowadays. Uh, three display port, one HDMI. You do have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I really prefer this over the companies that do like the really cheap pre for this send a dongle. This is definitely a lot better. It's more reliable. Uh, PC itself looks pretty good, but yeah, we do get a, <laughs> yeah, there's no way those are coming ah, off. Jesus. Oh, no. we need a different driver. We need, we need a different driver for How this, about this bad long boy? one. So let's do the cable management reveal in three, two, one. Clean. Whoa. That is pretty top tier. That's pretty top tier. I mean, you really don't get much better than that. I mean, very clean. They do the classic just tucking extra cables in there. Now we gotta figure out what kind of power supply we have as well. This is like almost the exact same case we built in this morning, I'm realizing. One thing I do like about MSI, most of their cases nowadays are true ARGB. It's been a long time since we've gotten one that didn't have a hub just built into it. As long as it comes with the ARGB fans, it seems like MSI always includes those hubs. And it does have expansion for up to three more fans, and that's if you don't daisy chain them. A lot of these will have dual connectors coming off, which actually, yeah, literally one right here, for example, you could daisy chain. So you could probably add an infinite amount of fans if you wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and see what kind of power supply we have because obviously when you're spending this much money on a pre-built, you want it to be able to be a little bit upgradable. If I can get this out of here, it's that tight. is tight. It's that's, all the other cables so in it. so bad to get back in. Probably will be. We have high power. Shout out uh, high power, 650 watt, 80 plus gold. That's plenty of watts. Probably a little overkill, honestly, for yeah. the 4060. Which is good, upgrade. Which is good, so you do have upgrade room. And there is extra, a lot of extra connectors. And high power is actually like a pretty good OEM. Yep. You might not see them very often on the shelves, but they're a good OEM. Yeah, all the specs on paper look really good. I mean, at the 699 price point, incredibly hard to beat. Building it yourself would be very hard to do at that oh, yeah. price point. Now, obviously that was a deal. So at a thousand, which is probably, we're gonna have to kind of address the whole idea of just getting good deals, which that's a great reason to follow Toasty Deals mm -hmm. on X or Twitter. This is exactly how we found this. Zach, who manages the deal page, found this PC for us and we bought it. You guys could have bought one too, but you might be a little too late now. Yeah, and there's a chance it can go on sale again, oh, but sure. just something to keep an eye on, especially during Cyber Monday and Black Friday, check all your main major retailers like Walmart, Best Buy, um, look on eBay occasionally, Micro eBay Center. sellers, Micro Center, all the major retailers will have like one of these like staple computers that is really on sale. And this definitely was the one for Walmart. So I guess we'll just turn it on and see what she looks like. Probably we'll see a lot more deals actually. I'll just, I'm like, wait, the holidays aren't over. We literally have Christmas, we have mm -hmm. New Year's. So you're probably still gonna see a lot of deals on PCs like this. Yes, sir. But let's see if it actually works. Yeah, we're talking it's all this uh, less hype about it, but if it doesn't work, like what's the point? Hey, ah. it's fine. Don't worry about it. That was a lot of suspense for <laughs> a lot of like, oh gosh, it's looking good. It's quiet. The um, two fans up front are RGB, RGB on the cooler. The one in the back is plain, which is fine. But I, I think it's a very tasteful looking build. It's not super crazy. Um, the price point's great. Uh, the airflow is obviously gonna be solid because it's mainly all mesh up front. A little bit of plastic right here, but mainly all mesh. And I think it's looking good on paper. Why don't we install some games and see how it performs? Let's do it. All right, gamers, we are now starting things off with Modern Warfare 3 on this MSI computer using the balance preset 1080p, a little bit of DLSS upscaling, we're on the quality preset, and we're gonna dive into it in, hey, 200 plus FPS and I'm throwing grenades at myself. Off to a great start, Matt. I will be honest, this is the one Call of Duty, and you all can let me know down below, that has lost my attention far quicker than any other Call of Duty in the past. I, I sometimes have like a little nostalgia where I'm like, you know, I'm kind of feeling Call of Duty and I just like blasting that guy. I'm kind of feeling some Call of Duty action, uh, but this game in particular, man, it just, it, it's not that exciting right now. I'm kind of looking forward to the new Warzone though. There's a new, oh, hey, there we go. Let's fucking go. Yeah, that took more than a round, I feel like. That could have been bad. What? 
Oh, I killed him with a pistol. Yeah, push me. Oh no. Who, how, why? Watch your fire. Flash. Trophy system. Why? What else is the Call of Duty thing to do? Yeah, buddy. Use a sniper rifle. Oh, is that the cram bit? All right, hear me, baby. That person just jumped off the map. Yeah, baby. Don't you... you little... I... Oh, I... <laughs> I couldn't tell you why, because it ain't me. Get out of that corner. That felt good. Where's the hard point? Ah! Oh, well, it took an L, but the PC is most certainly not an L so far. Running really good. Let's move on to another game. All right, guys, we are playing Halo Infinite, and we are at 120 FOV, 1080p, unlocked frame rate, medium settings. Looking good so far, but the real question is, is it good enough to get a dub in this game? So we can get a dub. Because I, I have had a lot of bad luck on this map, and I'm not really sure why. This map is troubling for some reason for him, but I think it's it's time to... <laughs> We're off Where to were a my great bullets start. Going? You should not don't let him take that spine kick. It's always such a war for this thing. Like, like, like this is what determines the outcome of the game is who gets the spanker. And it was me. Time to spank. Hope you all enjoy. Uh, 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 uh. Teammates coming in clutch though. Spanker! Get away with this. Oh, he killed himself. Let's go. Okay. How is this guy just hiding? What is this guy right here doing? Hey, there we go. That guy was completely cracked and that was really unnecessary <laughs> of me to do, but. Oh, why did I just do that? Yeah, Elite buddy. Killer. Okay. I can't believe they're not going for it. Ooh, I'm not feeling good about my positioning. It's, uh, I'm gonna run at it. Oh! Not. Okay, now I'm feeling good about it. And we're about to lose this game. For sure. The ghost does so much damage, it's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I hate it. And right, we'll just, we'll just give them the win, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, well, this PC isn't whatever. For 699, <laughs> it's running absolutely great. Let's go ahead and uh, run 3D Mark and then talk about the uh, overall experience of this computer. Let's do it. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this gaming PC. And overall, for the price that we paid, the fact that it was $300 cheaper than what we thought was a great deal already from Costco is awesome. And we were able to play AAA titles. I played Halo Infinite at medium, and I honestly think it could have done all high settings and gotten over 100 FPS the whole time, which is really awesome, especially at this price point. So the 4060, awesome card. Yeah, in terms of Modern Warfare 3, we got very similar results. You could stretch into some 1440p gaming if you want to at the 4060 but I think at this price point, 1080p, high refresh rate is the sweet spot. And in terms of 3D Mark Firestrike, we actually got an awesome score of 10,670, which for a $699 computer is a great buy. Now, the elephant in the room is that this computer is now $999. It was $699, but it is $999. It is the holiday season, so I can see it going on sale for close to that price again, but you guys won't know unless you check the links in the description down below and check up-to-date availability and pricing of this PC. And let us know if you happen to pick it up during the holiday season because whenever you review these computers that go on sale for Cyber Monday or Black Friday, a lot of you pick them up before we even get a chance to review it. So let us know what you think of it in the comment section down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. This PC right here will be available at PCBros.Tech for a great price because we're running discounts for all of December. And on top of that, we're already going to be selling it at a discount. So yeah, if you want to buy a PC in the month of December, use code SANTA5 to save 5% on your purchase. And maybe pick up some PC Bros or Toasty Bros merch for 25% off or that professional streamer for $100 off. This included with the merch. This included with the merch. This is included with the merch, guys. PC Bros.Tech. Happy holidays. See you guys later. Goodbye.